I grew up in an era where it, everything was very traditional and you followed like a little pattern. When it was time to go to college, you didn't have lots of options like you young ladies have today. It was teacher, nurse, housewife, secretary. You know, it was that type of thing. But I have found that from the group and with time, I have learned to accept my mistakes. I've learned to accept change. I've learned to really uh, go off and try new things that I, I normally wouldn't try. And I think all of that is, is applicable to so much of life. Larry Thomas was a person who was one of my colleagues. His wife, Candace Thomas, was a member of the African American Quilt Circle, and that was way back in 2006. She invited me to come and be a part of the quilt circle because we had a conversation. I told her that I knew how to sew. She said, if you can sew, you can make a quilt. I came to the meeting and um, I don't know, I, I bought something that I made, something that I started making. And these women celebrated me with this partial quilt. And from that time until now, I've been a member of the African-American quilt circle. Once I met this, you know, lively group of black women, who admired my work. And then I started venturing out away from matching up everything and kind of doing my own thing. And they validated me and they told me how wonderful my work was, et cetera, because I no longer used patterns. My friend asked me to make a quilt. I had no idea about what I was doing. And I put it all together and I took it to their group when it was time to make the presentation for the show to come up. And they were like, oh my goodness, you did a really fantastic job on this quilt. In 2006, there was a French woman who came and she was taking pictures of our quilt. So this quilt, the very first quilt that I made, was featured in Quilt Mania magazine. And I started crying when I saw the picture of this quilt in that magazine because had my friend not encouraged me, had I not gone to be in community with these women, then that wouldn't be a part of my quilt journey. I guess you could say I'm woke now because now I can do what I feel comfortable doing uh, and, and it's okay. And when you are, when you learn originally through books and you go to classes where it's always done a certain way, it is stifling. We quilt so differently, I think, in that respect. You can take one pattern and you can quilt it one way. That's traditional. And then an African-American quilter can take the same pattern and quilt it the way that African-Americans quilt with color. And it's totally different. So did you go through both of the classes? Did you of course. Both yeah. of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nancy's a good teacher. Yeah. Oh, she's wonderful. That's why I took it. We learn from one another. I'm stimulated by my sisters. I really am. And as I say, they encouraged me because if I had not met them, I probably would still be following the patterns in the book. We come together, we commune, we sew, and respect and love, and we create community. And that's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing.